Many Jews hated the Roman soldiers who occupied their country, but in Capernaum there was one Roman soldier who was liked and respected. He was a Citorian, which means that he was captain of a company of hundred soldiers. One day, one of the Citorian's servants became ill. The Citorian remembered all of the stories he had heard about Jesus. He knew that Jesus could make his servant well. Jesus started to go to the Citorian's home. His disciples and all of the people followed him. Quickly, he sent some friends with a message for Jesus. The messengers hurried and met Jesus along the road. They told him what the Citorian had said. The message was said, Please don't inconvenience yourself by coming to my house. I am not worthy of such honor. Just say the word and my servant will get well. So I know your word is enough. Jesus turned around to the crowd of people and said, I have not found so great faith, not knowing Israel. Jesus meant that the Satyrian trusted him more than the Jews did, and they were God's own people. Right then, back at the Satyrian's house, the servant was healed. Once again, Jesus had done something wonderful, and all because the Satyrian had shown faith in him. From Capernaum, Jesus headed for a place called Nain. As he came near the city, he saw a group of mourners surrounded a scripture on which a young dead man lay. The dead man was the only son of a widow lady. He had been the only person the lady had to help her. Jesus felt sorry for the mother. He went close beside her and gently said, Don't weep. Then he reached over and touched the scripter. In a clear, strong voice, Jesus said, Young man, I say unto you to rise. The young man opened his eyes and Jesus took him by the hand and helped him off the sketcher. Quiet fell on the group as the people sensed that they stood in the presence of God. He had given the widow back her son. Jesus had turned her sorrow into joy.